so it's getting towards the end of September and it's been a while since I put a video out so I thought I'd better put one out now. Uh, part of the reason for not putting one out is there's been a couple of projects that I kind of wanted to keep to one video so the hatch being one of them and the holding tank being the other although the holding tank is actually going to be a two-parter because it's turned out to be obviously a little bit more involved in terms of getting everything measured up and so on than I thought. So in order to get, and, and a lot of people only watch these videos really because they're interested in the specific project so I didn't want to just put bits and pieces all over the place. Uh, the other video I want to do is went to the boat show um, and I want to do a quick look at that and so on but let's do the first part of putting the holding tank I think on today. That'll be interesting so let's see how how far we get with, with that one. Right, so here's the thing. This is where the original seacocks are um, underneath me. But I was going to put a, a partition, a sort of a, a bulkhead across here to separate these off. But I actually want to move those to right nearer the head area, which I think is what they did in the Mark II. I found a diagram, which I'll, I'll put that just here, uh, which kind of shows that that's where the seacocks and through holes and things were. Um, I've taken from the original drawings um, and so on, and I've had a quick measure up of, uh, <laughs> my measurements are almost impossible to decipher by the way, and what I've done is I've kind of mocked up an idea of what I think I might be doing. So this is using that one that I mocked up based on the Tech Tanks one, and I think I can actually make a plywood one, probably going out further and possibly slightly different size. But anyway, I already had this made up, so I thought I might as well use this. Um, and the idea here would be to have a two inch outlet going down here, cut some of this out and have a seacock directly there. So I could close that up and then things, the um, when you flushed, it would literally just go into the holding tank, fill up. I obviously need to have a, a gauge or somewhere here. It means I can utilize the, uh, the deck fitting, just change that to a, a pump out. Um, the outlet from the toilet goes directly in to the top and this will be the breather pipe. I ran out of pipe to mock this up but this needs to kind of come out above, you know, quite above the, um, as high as you can um, and then go out through the, through the side. That needs to be a good sort of one and a half inch side. If you make that too small that's where smells and stuff can come from. Um, you will notice I don't have a um, anti-siphon loop here because kind of I don't need to. This is the anti-siphon because there is no there is no loop because this well anyway if you you understand that. Um, so the next thing to do is to make a bit of a mock-up and you know proper mock-up and see if that works and then actually get the fittings and have a go at actually doing it. I think this is about as simple as you can possibly make it. By the way, this is in disgusting condition. But of course, the thing that I forgot to say is that the inlet pipe, which is out here, which current, which actually didn't have um, an anti-siphon loop on it, the seacock will be in here in this inspection hatch, um, and there will be a loop coming up here. That's the water level, by the way. I don't think you can see. I've drawn a line there, so there will be an anti-siphon loop. Probably, I'll probably do it quite high, so we need to have one on on that, um, but don't need to have one on the on this, as I say, because the, um, the breather pipe acts as an anti-siphon. So there you go, just to clarify that. I just didn't have enough pipe to sort of mock doing that up, but that, that will fit. So the next step is to take these measurements, double check uh, the drawings that I took off of the plans, and start to draw, there's lots of rubbing out here, start to kind of draw in in pencil things that roughly fit and I've worked out that a tank that's about 45 centimetres by 45 centimetres by 23 centimetres deep, nice square, nice easy shape, should be about 50 litres, which is about 13 US gallons, which I think is going to be absolutely plenty. And I want to put the outlet down here, the inlet here, so it's all kind of within the heads compartment. Um, that's going to be a level gauge. Um, not 100% sure what I'm going to do with the, uh, with the breather pipe. And hopefully use the existing hole in the deck to, to have the pump out going through there and that's that's a dip pipe. So of course it looks like this straight from a straight angle it looks absolutely fine but as we know boats do not have straight lines um, and if you look from above you can see that um, there's a very big 
difference in the measurement there and there which means that I have to kind of fiddle out with, with where the tank is kept and it's even more difficult when you kind of look at it from the kind of side because as you can see here originally I wanted to put this through hole down here somewhere but that actually gives it even more awkward shape because ideally this should be straight down but of course there isn't a straight down um, that looks as if it should sort of work now also it looks as if I put it a long way away from the wall but I haven't because this cross section is actually taken from there so a bit of it is kind of narrower and a bit of it is kind of wider if that makes sense I mean I do have the, I do have the loftings for the boats so I suppose I could have actually worked this out in a really complex I'll show a copy of the loftings and if you don't know what loftings are look at um, Samson Boat Company and look at the episodes he did on, on lofting out his boat which is phenomenally complex um, but what I'm going to do is make a cardboard mock-up, um, test this with um, sort of flexible hoses. If that seems to work out roughly right, I will then make a wooden mock-up with the through holes in um, and see if that will actually fit, and only then am I going to make the final thing. So that's the plan at the moment. Anyway, it seems as if it's just going to work. Not desperately happy with that, but that's not a bad sort of curve. But anyway... So let's get down, make the cardboard mock-up, and see how that might fit or not. I'm videoing this in the chandlery, and because I'd threatened if this wasn't in today that I was actually, so this is the new seacock, and I want to show the difference in the height, because that's one of the reasons I wanted to get it. And the chandler, who's sitting just out of picture, is refusing to even breathe in case he accidentally goes onto the YouTube channel, and he's mortified about the state of his desk and things. But this is a very friendly, nice chandlery, Mark. So you're, <laughs> and it is one of the benefits of being in this yard, actually, that there is a chandler's, but he's not going to say anything, so I might as well switch this off now. But yeah, that shows the, the two alternatives. So I think I'm going to replace the rest with these ones as well, because that just looks very neat. They're just as strong, no galvanic corrosion, no need to bond them. Brilliant, very chuffed with that. Right, not sure how well this is going to come out. Basically, this is the... Um, the seacock. This is the two inch pipe coming out from the holding tank. And if this mounts on the side here, uh, this really is at about a sort of a 45 degree angle, so it's going to be difficult. I want it to kind of go straight down, but there isn't a straight down. So um, let me film this from a different way because what I've done is I've cut out piece of pipe that shows the maximum curve of the two inch pipe and at the moment that doesn't fit at all. I'll see if I can do that from the side with the GoPro camera, see if that makes more sense. So this, this is the tightest curve that I can have here and you can see that it doesn't get in there. So I have got an alternative which is to have a pipe coming out. Anyway, let's, let's set that up and see if that works. So everything is really precariously um, propped up here, but hopefully you can see that this pipe coming out at a bit of an angle fits into the curve here, which will then go... That's the way of showing it. Kind of straight into the seacock. So this angle... And this is slightly more than the minimum bend. So it's not perfect, but at least it means I can keep the two inch pipe. And that's not a bad sort of flow. So I'll try for that. If for whatever reason that doesn't work and doesn't prove to, to work, then I will have to fit a pump just here, which will be more expensive, but that will be possible. So this is what I want to work. Um, and that, that fits more or less exactly, so I'm quite happy with that. So where, there we go, that's the sort of cardboard mock-up which I've put in place with strings and all sorts of things. So I'm going to do a wooden mock-up before I finalise it. Um, but I'm relatively happy with that. He says with a question mark, but yeah, I am going to do a a basic wooden mock-up and kind of fit it because it's obviously key how I attach the holding tank to the hull and things like that but I think, I think this is going to work. So there you go, um, you might have to wait a little bit for the uh, for the second part um, 
which will be, I want to make up a sort of a wooden template, then I'm going to make the glass synth thing, put it all together, put the new um, through hull seacocks in. Um, and part of the reason why there might be a delay on that is there's some fiddly bits like how to, I want to put a level sensor in, I think I'm doing, going to do a pressure one, but I haven't kind of made up my mind. But between now and the next one, the next video, part two, the hatch one will be coming out fairly soon, plus I'll do the, um, the visit to the boat show, and there's something that I'm ordering after seeing from the boat show that I want to get fitted, which is a bit of a luxury item, but we'll have a look at that. So hopefully I'll get those two out fairly soon, and then the hatch one will come out after that. So see you hopefully in early October.